All right, so Jerry's rhythm parts on Help on the Way didn't change too much over the years. All right, so on the album Blues for Allah, Jerry plays this rhythmic figure. So on an F minor chord up here in eighth position, the roots on the fifth string, we have eighth fret, fifth string, 10th fret to the fourth and third, uh, ninth fret on the second, eighth fret on the first. Then we slide off. And you can also do that with scratches in between. And then we're gonna go down to the first position and we can play something like this where we hammer on from the first frets of the fifth and fourth strings to the third frets of those strings. Or just the first to third string on the fourth string. So uh, I think that's kind of mimicking what Bob's doing. Bob plays this rhythmic figure with octaves. And it seems like Jerry's just mimicking that. Or we can do it without the hammer-ons at all. All right, um, other variations. If you look at like 76 uh, versions of this from 1976. All right, other variations. If you listen to some recordings from 1976, check out YouTube. Um, Jerry will just start a groove down here in this first position F minor chord. And then he'll start that figure. Um, so sometimes Jerry starts it down here and, you know, sometimes he'll do the inverse where he starts down here with this first position F minor and then moves up to this eighth position F minor. Then other times he might just play some licks in between. But the most common variation is... starting off in the 8th fret and then moving down to the 1st fret. Alright, so on the album, that happens twice. Uh, live, it can happen 4 times, 8 times, it just it depends. But the last time, Jerry plays this phrase that leads into the verse. Alright, so what we have here, we're starting on the 6th fret of the 5th string, sliding up to the 8th with our pinky. Then we're playing the 6th fret on the 4th, 5th fret on the 3rd. So that's an F minor 7 arpeggio. We have the flat 7, the root, flat 3rd, 5th. Then we're going to descend down an E flat major triad. So we have 8, 5 on the 4th string. Or the B flat G, which is 5, 3, and then one or E flat on the sixth fret of the fifth string. Then we're gonna land on the eighth fret of the fifth string or F, and that's where the verse starts. All right, so if we actually play that our uh, triad shape we played as a chord, we have an F minor chord the root, flat, third, fifth, and Jerry plays that, so we have. Then we're gonna repeat that phrase starting on the eighth fret of the fifth string. Then we're gonna land on the eighth fret of the sixth string. And that's our C. So now we're on a C minor chord and we can play the same shape as we did for the F minor, but starting on the sixth string. So eighth fret of the sixth string, sixth fret of the fifth, fifth fret of the fourth. But it doesn't, we don't have much time to really strum that chord, so it's just kind of a hit. So we have. All right, then we have this. All 
right, so basically what we're playing is if you look at a C minor chord, same shape as this F minor, but down on the third fret. So third fret of the fifth, fifth frets of the fourth and third, uh, fourth fret on the second, third fret on the first, and we're just gonna play the fourth, third, and second strings. Then we lift up the pinky. All right, but I've watched like um, a dozen videos of this on YouTube and only once did I see Jerry actually hold that C minor chord. Um, he usually plays it like this, which is kind of a weird way to play it and it's kind of difficult. But I wanted to try it out to see if there's an advantage of playing it this way. Um, I don't really think there is, but it's definitely a challenge. So we have our um, ring finger on the 5th fret of the 4th string, pinky on the 5th fret of the 3rd string, then we have our index finger on the 3rd fret of the 3rd string, and then our middle finger on the 4th fret of the 2nd string. And just aim for those that 4th, 3rd, and 2nd string set. If you get the 1st string too, that's fine. And then we're going to lift up the pinky. And we go down here to this F sus4. So it's the um, ring finger on the third fret of the fourth, pinky on the third fret of the third, and then the index finger is gonna bar the first frets of the first three strings. Then we lift that pinky again, and we get that an F minor. And then here's the rhythmic figure. And then we have this phrase. All right, so we start on the third fret of the fifth, then we have one, two, three on the fourth. First fret on the fourth, third fret on the fifth, then an open fourth string. Then we go back to that phrase. All right, so what we just played. Um, I consider that an A section. So this is an A, A, B, A form, but with uh, the A's have some variations, but so that's A. So then we're gonna repeat that, but with a variation at the end. So we have. And then instead of, we're gonna play. So the first part of that phrase is the same. But then we're gonna hammer on one to three on the fourth string. Then we go into our B section, which sounds like this. All right, so I have the overall harmony of this section as a B flat nine. You'll see when we dig into this that each of these chords Jerry plays, it can be considered a different chord, but the overall harmony, like what Bob plays, what Jerry's playing, what the keyboards are playing, um, it's really a B flat nine tonality. So if we look at this first chord, or this first part, it sounds like this. So what we're playing is an F minor triad, an A flat triad, then we have this right here. So we can look at this like, so Jerry just plays these three strings. We have the sixth fret of the fourth, fifth fret of the third, sixth fret of the second. That's an F minor triad, 
but over the B flat that Phil's playing, it gives us a B flat nine without the third. Then if we then the next chord, the A flat, again uh, Phil's playing the bass, but if we add a B flat to the bass, we have A flat over B flat, which is a common mixolydian chord. B flat nine sus four. And then we're gonna take this pinky and we're gonna move it down so we have this A flat triad, sixth fret of the fourth, fifth fret of the third, uh, fourth fret of the second. Then we're just gonna take our index finger and move it down to the third fret of the second string to the D. And so that gives us a B flat nine chord. So they're all shades of a B-flat 9, but the uh, note on top is playing the melody line. So Jerry's singing. So on the top we have... Then we're going to start on the A-flat triad. All right, it's an F minor, it's a root position. Here we have the uh, first inversion. Here we have a root position F minor. All right, then we go up here to a G minor triad. So it's the same shape as we had for the F minor, on, starting on the eighth fret. So we have eighth fret of the fourth, 7th fret on the 3rd, 8th fret on the 2nd. And then we're going to play a B-flat triad, and then we're going to play an A-flat triad. So again, that's the melody line on top, and then we play this A-flat major 7 chord, but the bass is still B-flat. You know, I think one time I saw Jerry play it where he goes straight to this shape, plays the three notes and then all four notes, but the majority of the time he's playing and then he gets into the position of the A-flat major 7 chord. So we have Then we go back to the A section And then this is basically the same as the second time, but instead of a hammer on, we just land on that third fret of the fourth string, and then we go back into our pickup phrase. Put that all together and it sounds like this. we start over. Alright, so that's help on the way.